Hey y'all, welcome back to the DG Outdoors channel. Guys, in today's video, I have a review on my new semi-automatic 22LR that I picked up. Guys, I went to Real King for $139. I picked up a Rossi RS-22 long rifle. Semi-automatic, guys, comes with a 10-round magazine right here. Okay. And I'm actually, okay, you can get, when you pick up this gun, it'll come with this. So, you can actually get for $44.99 after this $10 coupon, three extra magazines for it. And I may actually pick this thing up. Now guys, this is a super light 22 lr carbine style 22 lr so it's got like a short barrel 16 and a half inch barrel which is free floating okay um like i said semi-automatic so you got a nice charge handle right here full polymer stock this comes in three different colors black tan and od green and i picked up the tan one now it does come with sling mounts as you guys can tell i just put a butler creek sling on here that i had from a different rifle okay cross bolt safety right here all right and the one thing that sold me is uh this thing has fiber optic sights okay the rear sight has two green dots and the front is a red dot front sight with like a ghost hood uh front blade sight which is awesome that's the one thing that drew me to this 22 lr because i was actually looking for a bolt action went to three different stores couldn't find a bolt action of the price range that i wanted and score hunting with my other 22 sometimes it's really hard to pick up that front blade sight but with this it is super easy now this is fully adjustable right here okay you've got your height and then you've got your windage right here and um yeah it does have a 3 8 dovetail or 11 millimeter dovetail mount for a scope okay and uh yeah this is a rossi 22 which is actually made by taurus it's made by taurus rossi rifles are made by taurus so this thing's pretty cool um, super lightweight, compact little 22 LR, and we're going to get to shooting. What am I shooting today? I've got some Blazer, CCI Blazers here in 22 long rifle, 38 grain round nose. We're going to load this up, and I've got a target down there to shoot. So let's go take first shots of this thing. All right, so as far as loading the magazine, which I cannot show on camera, it's actually super easy. It just slides in there real nice okay here is what the ammunition i'm going to use looks like it's just your standard cci blazer 38 grain round nose all right guys so we got the famous diet coke target with the squirrel on it we're just going to be back there by where the tripod's at so yeah so far what i like about it is the compactness the shortness of this 22 it's super lightweight. I think it only weighs like four pounds. So, yeah. Let's see how she shoots. All right, guys, here we go. First shots. Loading up shell. Load it in there well. Okay, that's good. It does have a cross bolt safety right here. Take it off. Aiming. Oh, and on the stock, it's got an indention here for your hands. Makes it really, really comfortable. Okay. A. Monte Carlo style stock right here as you guys can tell so it fits your face really really well um, aiming for the center dot on that squirrel failure to feed that first shot this is a brand new gun went in there now okay second shot that one went through. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Seventh. Oh, 
failure to feed. Okay, this one's really gonna have to come out. Hang on. We got a failure to feed in there. Let me pull this thing out real quick. Before I reload this thing, it is a brand new gun, so you could have some failures to feed. Here is the uh, target. We were hitting really, really high on most of those, and looks like skimming the target too. Huh. No clue, but I may have to work out the kinks with this thing. All right, guys, so I did adjust the rear sights a lot. Uh, I turned it down a bunch, so hopefully we're hitting closer to the uh, center of the target now, not so high. We're ready to go now. One failure to feed. Come on now, get out of there. Yep, one failure to feed in there. Let's wait for my brother-in-law to come up the hill real quick. All right, so we did pretty well there up until the last two shots here. So, uh, yeah, let's keep shooting. Oh yeah, did I not load this back up? It's loaded, what's up? Okay, maybe we got it dead now. All right, reloaded. And we're out <laughs> again I'm trying to see I believe the shots got lower looks like they got a little bit lower but I did move it over to the left some on the sites all right guys so so far what I've had three misfeeds and a dead could be this ammo too uh, but I like the gun I think it's worth the $140 I paid for it. I think I'll just have to work it in. Um, but, yeah. I bought it as a cheap little squirrel rifle. And I think it'll work for that. So let me get this all loaded up. We'll go take our last round of shots. And then be done with the video. All right, y'all, here we go. Last round of shots. Hey, we went through a full clip without any misfires or jams or hangs ups. That's awesome. Let's go check out this target before we get out of here. I really like this rifle. I think it's a nice little compact rifle. Yeah, you're gonna have to be have a break in period with any new rifle, but hey. But um it, it may not like this ammo though. But I've got all kinds of twenty two ammo that I can test out of this thing. So guys, for a first shot video, I don't think this is bad. Let's go check out the target. We're editing, ending the video on a good note, guys. I got some bullseyes in there. That's awesome. Took a little bit of uh, moving of the sights, but we got it in the bullseye. Way to end the video on a positive note. No misfires, and I hit the bullseye. That's pretty cool. See, I'm impressed with the little $140 22LR semi-automatic rifle from Rule King. So y'all remember, like, comment, subscribe. Remember Jesus loves you, remember to push. Pray until something happens, and I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.